Hello everyone, in today's video I have a alligator with wings. If you're a member of the Swamp family you will understand why it has wings, if you're not then you'll probably be a little bit confused. But I started out with one coat of like an army green colour that I cured fully and then I'm doing a really thin layer of this darker green colour. You could obviously use whatever colours um, like colors you want this is kind of the I think they call it the snake skin effect but it's just like reptile skin and before curing that thin layer of the darker green I am going in with my dotting tool and putting in dots of top coat um, I probably should have used a bigger dotting tool for this because I did want bigger dots but basically what the top coat does is it's it kind of creates a window through to the base color and uh, I don't know if you can tell here, I'm just making some of the dots bigger and kind of stretching them so they're a little bit more elongated, but you can just leave them round if you want to. And then I am doing another row of dots just kind of offset between um, other dots. Does that make sense? But this is basically how you do the snake skin, reptile skin effect. And obviously if you didn't want to do an alligator with wings, you could just stop here and have some alligator skin or reptile or snake or whatever. And you can absolutely do this in any colour combination as well. Just have a play and see what colours work best. Not all colours work well with this technique. I have learnt that the hard way. You can also see I've got a few bubbles in there, so maybe try and avoid that. But I really didn't care too much. Um... So after I cured that completely, I'm going in with a coat of a clear pink gel polish just to kind of level out the nail before I go on with nail art because because of the top coat kind of has like bubbles so it's not completely flat. You could absolutely just go in, but um, I didn't. So I, after curing that, I took the tacky layer off, not because I needed to, but because I, um, I tried to paint these wings before and it didn't really didn't work so I wiped them off and this is my second attempt at wings you can do whatever kind of wings you like these are the ones that I came up with and I'm using my blue sky um, gel paint that I reviewed demoed whatever I did in the last video um, make sure that if you are using these gel paints that you do nice thin layers and go back and touch up if you need to because I did find um, when using on a different design that areas that I made too thick like I'm talking like pretty thick not just like um yeah it was way too thick and it wrinkled and didn't cure properly so just make sure you use a nice thin coat and if you need to just once after you've cured it then go back in and do um another coat wherever you need to but so yeah I've basically f plotted out the wing shape and then I cured it now I'm going in with some more gel paint that this is a little bit of uh, black mixed in with the white just to add, I'm not even sure what this is, like feather detail or j just some definition to the wings just so they're not a flat white colour, just to give them a bit of texture. And I also went in, before curation, I went in with some more white as well so that the lines weren't too strong, kind of blend them all together. After I cured that, I then took my black blue sky gel paint and I basically just outlined the wings. I'm just using the tip of my brush so I can have the thinnest line that I can possibly make with this brush and my on-camera painting skills. If you've ever tried to record a tutorial, you will know that it is a million times harder to paint things on camera than it is off camera. But don't worry too much about the little mistakes that I've made because I do fix them. The reason it is a lot more difficult to film on camera, for me anyway, is because I normally, when doing nail art, have the cam- uh, the camera, the nail, like, right up in my eyeballs. And if I was to do that whilst painting on camera, you all you would see would be the back of my head. So, yeah, that is why oftentimes my designs on camera don't come out as nice as they would if I was off camera. But anyway, after curing the black I took the white gel paint again and just go in and fix up anywhere that I kind of 
uh, went a bit thick with the lines or not quite as neat as I wanted them to be. You don't have to do this if you were happy with it as it was. But I just thought, why not? It's only an extra, you know, minute or so. And then just go and fully cure that as well. And then all you need to do is add your top coat and you're done. I also think this nail would look great matte, but I did it shiny. Just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm talking about in this voiceover. I think I'm going a bit loopy. It's about midnight now when I'm recording this. Anyway, that's the finished design. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, yep, now you know how to do alligator with wings. Well, a simplified version. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.